everybody, it is me Alice, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video where I show you how to clean your makeup brushes because a lot of people don't know how to clean their makeup brushes properly and I've just thought that I would show you some good tips and tricks and also some equipment that you could use to make your brushes nice and clean and look sparkly and shiny new. Sometimes people put cleaning their makeup brushes off just because it can take a lot of time, especially if you have got a lot of brushes and sponges and everything, but these tricks will save you a lot of time and it's a really cheap way of cleaning your makeup brushes as well. So without further ado, let's get on the video. So as you can all tell, my sink has got some nice warm water in here. Um, the water should be like kind of like a little bit warmer than lukewarm. Make sure that the water is not boiling hot because it will melt the, the glue in your makeup brushes and then you will end up with like loose brush hairs and then your handles will probably break off the brush. So make sure that it's a nice warm temperature but not too warm. Um, and also a good tip is to actually fill a jug up with nice warm water. As you can tell here, I've got some warm water in here. I'd like to use a jug or bowl to clean the sponges in because the sponges take a lot longer to clean so I like to just put some soapy water in here or some type of conditioner and everything in a jug separately for the sponges. I'll show you how I do this. So obviously I fill the jug up with warm water but not too hot because it will melt the brushes and it sometimes makes the sponges go a bit holy which isn't good so I like to use a conditioner. Uh, the conditioner that I use for my, for my, to clean my makeup brushes is just a super drug ex extracts one. This is just a pound and they've got them in a lot of different scents. This one is just aloe vera and mango and it is a really, really nice um, scent to use. And conditioners do make your sponges and brushes nice and clean, hence why I like to use it. So I like to put a few drops of this in and it will make the water all nice and like little make it like a nice colour and it'll make it very easy to clean your sponges while they're in there. So next I like to put all my sponges in here. So as you can tell, I've got a lot of sponges, they're very dirty. I just like to put them in here, just pour them in the jug and I will leave them to just soak in there and get all soapy and then I will clean them later. So put these on the side to soak for a little bit. Next I will actually um, clean clean my makeup brushes so the things that I like to use to help clean my makeup brushes are I like to use some exfoliating gloves so you can buy a two pack of these for £1.50 from Primark and these honestly are such a lifesaver because they prevent soap from getting in your hat like on your hands so if your hands are sensitive this is the trick to not get as much soap and makeup product on your hands and I and this is like really good and they fit your hands really nicely so water will rarely ever enter in the glove which is really good and these are also good for getting product off as well and then oh here so here we go i've got the pink ones on and they are really really comfortable and they're really nice and then i also use this which i bought from the poundland of b&m or super drug somewhere like this and basically you put two things in there and you put some like soap or conditioner or whatever you want to use for your makeup brushes on here and just scrub the brush and it gets all the product off. So that's what I'm going to show you now. The brush which I'm using to get the makeup off is just this lovely brush from Real Techniques. I love this brush so much. It's so good for foundation. So firstly you need to dip the brush in some water and I like to leave it to soak for like a few minutes in there. And then I will get my conditioner again and I will put a little bit on here. Conditioner is such a good thing to use for brushes because it makes them n nice and soft like new and it also removes the product off the brush as well. So after the brush has been in the water I just like to kind of spin it around on here and this gets rid of all the muck as you can tell it's got a lot of uh, makeup product on there. And um, Sometimes you may need to repeat this process depending on the type of brush and especially foundation brushes like this they can take a very very long time because especially as the product is sticking on the brush so as you can tell it's getting very very clean it's just keep repeating this for a few times and it will get rid of the product and as you can tell it is getting a lot cleaner sometimes I like to just add a little bit more conditioner on 
here and this will do the job. As you can tell, the gloves are collecting all the product as well so it will not go on your hands which is really good because sometimes people can enter with makeup all over their hands and it isn't nice. So as you can tell, this is getting rid of all the product. If any of your brushes still have a bit of product on after you use a conditioner, I would recommend using a scrub. So I am using a soap and glory one. Soap and glory scrubs are really nice and they all smell really nice as well. So what I like to do, I like to get a bit of the product on the on here. So as you can tell, just put a, a blob on and just spin it around on here and this will get rid of any stubborn bits of makeup on the brush and it will remove it practically straight away. It may take a little bit of time depending on the brush and firmer brushes usually take a bit longer like this one so please have some patience because the results will be amazing after you've cleaned the brush. I like to dip it in the water again and just kind of remove the bits of makeup on it. But as you can tell this brush is looking very 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 clean and the water is very filthy but that just shows that the product has came off the brush and as you can see this brush is very very nice and clean now I've got no foundation on it so what I like to do is to squeeze out any excess water from the brush and I will lay this down on a towel for it to dry out and after I've washed all my brushes I'll put them under a radiator to dry or sometimes I like to use a hair dryer but careful when using a hair dryer to put it on a medium heat not too hot because it can sometimes burn the brushes and can melt the glue so you need to be very very careful if you are wanting to hair dry your brushes especially if you are in a rush and you need to use them in the morning just be very very careful but as you can tell this brush is very lovely and clean and the scrub definitely did help remove the excess product but now for the makeup sponges what I like to do is just take one out at a time and dip it in this water so makeup sponges can be very 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 difficult to remove the makeup off especially if you use them for foundation and concealer because the foundation and concealer does sometimes sink into the sponges and you may find that the makeup has kind of stained the sponge do not worry about this your, bro your sponge it will still be clean, it'll just have a little bit of a stain on it, but that is perfectly normal and fine. But as you can tell, it's kind of coming off on my finger a little bit. So what I like to do, I like to get a bit of the scrub and I like to put it on my hand where I've got the glove on and I just scrub this around all over the brush, I mean the sponge. And I just like to make sure that it's all lathered in the scrub. And then what I like to do, I like to use this and just rub it against here and this will kind of help remove some of the product obviously sponges are one of the hardest things to clean because the product does sink in and if you haven't cleaned them in a while the product will just eventually sink into the sponge and will stain it um, as you can tell I've not cleaned mine over a month so it's going to be very difficult but I do recommend using some conditioner again because this will kind of soften it a bit and will get a bit of the product out. so I do like to squirt a lot on and I, yet again I will lather it in conditioner because this will help get the product out of the sponge and this may not be perfect I, I know that the, the sponge is very stained anyway but what I like to do I just like to kind of rinse it in the water and squeeze any product out and as you can tell I think this sponge is very very stained um, so I think I'm going to have to treat myself to a new sponge after this video um, but as you can tell the product is coming out still a little bit but um, yeah so you do not, you do definitely need a lot of patience with sponges because they do collect a lot of product but as you can tell I have got the sponges and sometimes some sponges clean themselves which is really good especially like these shape ones as you can tell it in the jug and it has collected all the conditioner and got rid of all the product in it which is really so good. So guys if this is the end of my video I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up in the comment down below and I really do hope that this has helped you and please leave some other video suggestions that you want me to film and I will film them for you but um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!